Sometimes what seems like a simple problem can unexpectedly erupt into a life and death emergency. As one highway patrol officer discovered on the afternoon of May 30th, 1990 in Santa Ana, California. Around 5 p.m., Officer Keith Thornhill was heading south on the 55 freeway. I'm driving along, and uh, as soon as I came over a rise on the freeway, I saw a woman uh, walking in the carpool lane. She was walking north in the south carpool lane. It's just pretty much standard procedure to, to run across people on the freeway all the time, just walking along, not necessarily even knowing where they are or, or caring. I was slowing the, the group of traffic and started to move from the right lane and then moved into the carpool lane. And as I got closer and closer, I could tell uh, that she wasn't quite with it. I could see her face, and she didn't re even realize who I was or what was going on. Lady, come here, please. Ma'am. While Officer Thornhill tried to get the woman off the freeway safely, a small car waiting to change lanes was stuck behind the parked patrol car. of gas came pouring out the side as the gas tank uh, broke and the gas came flooding out uh, all over I could just see it pouring out I called in the crash and said there was a, a crash with a car on fire on patrol nearby was officer Dana Sampson a trained EMT I heard Keith come over the radio he sounded really really stressed really excited he was out of breath running back to the car and I, I don't see anyone in it and I think that they're down up under the dash. When Ron Slagle spotted the burning car, he pulled over to try and help. I ran back to assist the officer. There was no movement from the inside of the car because they had been knocked unconscious. I reached to the door handle, started to yank on the door and it didn't even move. I immediately pulled out my baton. I hit it real hard, sometimes it's hard to break them. Smashed out the window on it. I saw it hit these guys in the face. The panic was setting in with the victim at that point in the time, and Officer Thornhill took charge and pulled him out and got him to the ground. I was a scared kid, but I see my buddy there. He was still unconscious. You know, he was out, his seatbelt was across, and the car was on fire. An eyewitness in the building overlooking the freeway called 911. The Santa Ana Fire Department was immediately dispatched to the scene. And when I got up almost to the scene, I could tell the traffic on the southbound lanes was just stopped. I just knew, you know, it's going to take me 10 minutes to get there if I go up to the next exit and turn around, so that's when I was going as fast as I could, wishing it would go a little faster. At this point, I thought he, the passenger was dead for sure because the flames were going too much. Uh, give it just a quick tug to see if the door would come open. It wouldn't. And it was really, really hot. Seeing the gasoline pouring out under the car was concerned that the whole ground would go up. Then the headliner of the car came down. The material had lit on fire. At that point, he had come to. I just got him just out the window, and I saw that his head and one arm still burning. His foot was, it got tangled up in the steering wheel, so we were just pulling against stuck weight. And I reached in, just ripped his uh, leg through the steering wheel. The car was completely engulfed in flames at that point. When I got there, I had no idea what had happened. Saw this car up in flames, saw these people lying on the ground. So I just started doing what I'd been trained to do. You know, you can just take care of these people and worry about what happened later. Go, on, go sit down, go sit down. Are you all right? I'm right here. Can you hear me? It was an immediate relief, just the feeling of someone else being there. 
In his rush to help the victims, Officer Thornhill had not realized that he had also been injured. When he got up again, I said, hold that there, and then poured the saline solution over my hands. I looked down and saw my arm bleeding and uh, wondered why I didn't feel it. Then I felt my hands uh, start getting hotter and hotter. Backup units continue to arrive on the scene. The passenger from the car, I could tell he was in shock. He was talking about someplace he had to be in a little while, and, and the car's flames. I could feel heat from the car. It was just roasted. Uh, he's kind of out of it. Okay. Uh, he's kind of cut on his arm. All right. And this other guy over here's got some burns on his legs and his arm. I think this guy's probably most serious. Okay. What happened to all this? Okay. Can you hear me? Yeah. Take him to the hospital, okay? Okay. Passenger Jason Tremble had suffered only minor burns on his arms and legs. Driver David Fire had suffered back and neck injuries. The woman who had been found wandering along the freeway was taken to the psychiatric unit of a local hospital. Officer Thornhill and his rescuing these two gentlemen had uh, uh, an injury sustained to his back as well as uh, a lacerated arm and some burns to his uh, face and hands. I was so impressed with Officer Thornhill. He was extremely brave and courageous in um, putting his own life at stake and possibly being burned severely. The strength that he possessed at that time to extract two men through a small window of a car out onto the street was just awesome. Three months later, Keith Thornhill continues in therapy for his sprained back, but will soon be returning to active duty as a highway patrol officer. You very rarely get to have the, the situation work out as positive as this, to have the situation work out where everyone's walking and talking and, and everyone's uh, eventually going to be fine. It's, a, it's just a nice change. Jason Tremble cannot forget Officer Thornhill for that day. This police officer, he saved our lives. I mean, we wouldn't be here if he wasn't there. I mean, I doubt anybody else would stop and go into a, a burning car to pull us out. I'll always remember Mr. Thornhill. I'll always remember David and what occurred and what, what we've gone through. God gave me another chance for some reason. So I just got to continue and live my life. And hopefully it will be long and prosperous. I've won. I've won.